What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Pardon the appearance as I'm in a different filming location just for the time being. Today, I'm going to be talking about Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2, the sequel to Inside Out. Teenager Riley's Mind Headquarters is undergoing a sudden demolition to make room for something entirely unexpected. New emotions! Joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, who have long been running a successful operation by all accounts, aren't sure how to feel when anxiety shows up. And it looks like she's not alone. I really loved the first Inside Out. It was one of those Pixar movies that caught me by surprise. It was kind of in that period where Pixar was starting to not turn out critically acclaimed and beloved classics like they had been doing since their inception. Inside Out kind of changed that and then it kind of didn't change that. And so now it seems like we're getting back to Pixar making sequels to beloved classics or just original things that they think could become beloved classics inside out Two, while it's not as good as the first one it's not as emotionally charged as the first one no pun intended i found this to be a really really satisfying sequel probably one of my favorite pixar sequels of all time it is so beautifully animated that's the thing with pixar movies they're always so well animated with so many vibrant colors and so many great ideas that are so well realized through the animation. Sometimes the animation looks photorealistic. When you're interacting with Riley and her friends, that looks really, really real. And the thing is that this is a movie that grows up with not just the character, but the audience, because we were a lot younger when we saw Inside Out. I was 21 when that movie came out. I'm now 30 years old. And we're seeing these new emotions as Riley grows up. So it's, it takes a more mature and thematic approach to its subject matter. And I think that that's actually really done well because we get all these different types of emotions. And I think showing how these emotions work inside Riley's mind. I mean, obviously, there's a whole world here as to how these emotions work. But but you just think about it when you when you see something like anxiety, like we all get anxiety. And I think that the movie really showcases the emotion of anxiety really well. It's just a matter of growing up. It's really, really touching in that regard, because growing up is something that is inevitable in real life. And you're maturing. The movie really, really does that. And you have so many different feelings and thoughts going through your mind. Are you going to have the same friends if you move on? Are you going to be going to the same school and all that? The movie addresses all that and addresses it more than adequately. And a lot of the new emotions really stole the show for me. Anxiety is a really great emotion. But my favorite new emotion was embarrassment. I thought that embarrassment was the funniest emotion out of the new emotions. That's the thing. It's when the new emotions are introduced, it's not like, oh, this is an eye roller. This is a head scratcher. Why are we doing this? No, it makes sense. And they actually write them really well to the point where it's, yeah, you can actually like these emotions. And I just love the adventure element that this movie took me on. Joy, fear, anger, disgust, sadness have to go on this sort of adventure trying to get back to headquarters and i thought that that was really really fun it was a really fun adventure for that and it was just seeing that interspliced with what anxiety was doing it was really interesting for me i thought that this movie flew by it's what 90 minutes it doesn't even feel like it's 90 minutes yeah have you noticed that this year the movies that have like an astronomically long runtime or even a short runtime you're so into them they don't feel their runtime like, Dune Part 2 doesn't feel like it's 2 hours and 46 minutes. I didn't think Furiosa felt like it was 2 hours and 30. I didn't think Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes felt like it was 225. This movie didn't feel like it was 90. This felt like it was like a half hour, 45 minutes. It's crazy. I guess that's just a testament to how movies are entertaining us now. And Inside Out 2 is another winner for Pixar. While it's not as good as the first one, it does have a couple of more original ideas and it knows that it has to grow up with not just the character but the audience. It has to touch on more mature subject matter. I really really loved Inside Out 2 with a full bucket of popcorn. So if you have seen Inside Out 2, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. I'll leave my links to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden and I will see you at the movies. Some <laughs>